السلام علیکم اسٹوڈینٹس آئی ایم احسن عبد اللہ پٹیل ٹوڈے آئی ول ڈسکس ٹرانسفارمیشنس آف دا فنکشنس فسٹ آف آل یو ہیو ٹو لرن سم پیٹرنس آف دا گرافس لائک وی ہیو دا گراف فار وائی از ایکول ٹو ایکس اسکوائر لائک دس یو ہیو ٹو لرن اٹ وی ہیو دا گراف فار وائی از ایکول ٹو ایکس کیوب لائک دس وی ہیو دا گراف فار دا فنکشن وائی از ایکول ٹو انڈر روٹ ایکس دیٹ از دس وائی از ایکول ٹو کیوب روٹ آف ایکس لائک دس y is equals to 1 upon x like this and y is equals to 1 upon x square like this so these are the basic graphs so uh, describing these graphs i will discuss the transformation different transformations in the syllabus we have uh, three different kinds of transformations in a levels first of all translation translation means that somebody is moving in the x direction or in the y direction okay So for suppose we have four types of translations. First of all, f of x plus a, f of x minus a, f of x plus a, f of x minus a. In f of x plus a, it means that we have to shift the graph in the upward direction while f of x minus a means we have to shift the graph in the downward direction and that is a units upward and or a units downward in case of f of x plus a we will shift left a i will give you some examples for these and f of x minus a means we have to shift on the right side for suppose i have a function f of x equals to under root x or suppose this is its graph so basically this is one and this is one so for suppose if i have to make f of x equals to under root x plus 1 so basically i have to shift one unit up so for suppose this point was 1 comma 1 so after shifting it one unit up you make sure that this was x axis and it has the equation y is equals to 0 so basically this one is the mean position of the graph that is you can say that x axis has been translated one unit upwards so now my mean position is basically y is equals to 1 so therefore y is equals to 0 would be like here and now graph would be like this that this x remains the same 1 but this y becomes 2 because graph has been shifted one unit upwards so therefore the point 1 comma 1 now becomes 1 comma 2 because the value of y has been incremented one unit okay so now for suppose if i say that i have to draw now 
y is equals to f of x equals to under root x minus 2 now this minus 2 means it is the mean value now the graph should be shifted 2 units downward so now 2 unit downwards or suppose this is y is equals to minus 2 and this line should be y is equals to 0 so now I have to make this graph like this now this point this remains the same one but this becomes minus 1 because this point was 1 comma 1 2 is subtracted from y so when we subtract 2 from 1 we'll get minus 1 so now graph was shifted downward direction 2 units for suppose we will take more examples now we have y is equals to under root x minus 1 now you can clearly see that 1 is subtracted inside the function that is the root function that 1 is being subtracted from x so now this minus 1 should be the mean position but on y direction that is this is y axis and it has the equation x equals to 0 so now x minus 1 becomes the y axis of our diagram therefore x equals to 1 is our y dash so now by making the diagram x equals to 1 will be my starting point or suppose this is x equals to 1 so now this graph had started from 0 now this graph will start from 1 and at 2 it will meet 1 because this is 2 this is 1 why it has become 2 because minus 1 minus a shows the shift on the right side so if this one is shifted to right side one unit so therefore it will become two units therefore this point will become two comma one because on x axis one has been shifted one unit on the right side so therefore it has become two units another example Or suppose we have f of x equals to under root x plus 2. Now plus 2 means x plus 2 is equals to 0. Now x equals to minus 2 will be considered as y dash. So now if I made a, make a diagram. So if it was starting from 0, now it will start from minus 2. So this is minus, minus 1 and this is minus 2. So now I have to start from minus 2. And I will 
will keep on moving. So now this is minus 1 while this is 1. So the y remains the same. The y remains the same. But this 0 has become minus 2 and this 1 has become minus 1 because 2 was added here. So x plus a, f of x plus a means we have to shift on the left side. So now 2 units will be shifted on the left side. Now 1 will become minus 1 because if we have to left shift this value 1, we have to subtract 2 from it. So after subtracting 2 from the number 1, you will get minus 1. So this point will become minus 1, comma 1. Okay. So in other examples, we can also see that what, what translation has been done. For suppose, I may ask you that for suppose f of x equals to For suppose these are the questions. So in this I can clearly see that this is the condition of x minus 8. So basically x minus a is the shift right side. So I should write here that one unit shift right. While in this case this is the function x square and plus 3. So basically f of x plus a means shift up. So I will write I would write 3 units shift up. Now plus 2 x plus 2 basically x plus a. I should shift left 2 units. So I will write 2 units shift left and after the shifting 2 units left side now I will, I will see that function minus 1 that is f of x minus a now then 1 unit shift down and same in this case that I have to make one unit plus one means one unit left side because, because it is inside the function then one unit should be shift up. Now I will make another example in which I will show you double translation by the diagram. For this question, first of all, I will make a tidy graph for x square. So basically, this is the graph for y is equals to x square in which I will show the two points that this point should be 1 comma 1 and this point should be minus 1 comma 1. So now I will make x plus 2 whole square. For x plus 2 whole square x plus 2 should be equals to 0 and I will get x equals to minus 2 so therefore x equals to minus 2 is the mean position on y axis for the graph that is this graph has to be shift, shifted left side 2 units so basically this was 1 this was minus 1 but I shift on the left side 2 units this 1 will become minus 1 and this minus 1 will become minus 3 now graph will look like this 
in in this diagram i can show you this point should be minus 1 comma 1 and this point should be minus 3 comma 1 because the points are being left shifted two units and this is the graph for y is equals to x plus 2 whole square now this minus 3 means that we have to shift the graph three units downward direction so now three units downward direction so if this is the x axis <clears throat> it should be 3 units downward so if it is the if it is the x axis this is y is equals to 0 now this should be y is equals to minus 3 so that was our y axis this was the line y is equals to Minus two. So this was zero zero. Now zero zero has become minus two comma three. So this is the point to start because this point was zero zero. In this diagram, this point has become minus two comma zero, and now. in this diagram this point has become minus 2 comma 3 because two units i have to shift on the left side and three units i have to shift on the downward side that is minus 3 sorry now this was minus 1 and this was minus 3 it remains the same and this is basically 3 and this is minus 2 and this is minus 1 so i will start the graph from here and i will go on like this i will start the graph from here and i will go on like this so we have two points the same points so now this point the the previous diagram was minus 1 comma 1 now i have to shift down three units so it will become minus 1 comma minus Two, because one unit is to be subtracted. Uh, sorry, three should be subtracted from one, so it will become minus two, and this point will become minus three comma minus two. So in this diagram, I have shown you the translation of a simple function, or rather, somewhat complicated function. So in the next video, I will discuss reflection. so i think so translation i have told you i have explained you uh, somewhat uh, very well and i hope so you have understood well thank you so much for uh, viewing this video and i am hoping that you have understood well thank you so much allah hafiz